Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cabela's, Cuddyback, America's Best Bowstrings, Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, Hoyman Tree Saws, Lone Wolf Tree Stands, Nikon, Ozonics, Redneck Blinds, RTP Outdoors, Spot Hog Releases, Wasp Archery, Viking Solutions, and Realtree. Uh, getting down to the wire here in Iowa. Justin and I are set up on the project farm. Wanted to get one final hunt on this piece before the end of the year. A couple reasons I decided to come to this farm. One, it's the closest spot I have to hunt to my house, so uh, I didn't have to be gone as long. And two, we've had back-to-back -back warm, really warm days. Uh, yesterday was in the low 50s or mid 50s. Today's in the low 40s. So still pretty warm for early January, but my my thought there was, you know, it's a cattle pasture with not a lot of food, but with the warmer warmer weather, you sometimes see deer hitting stuff like just random grasses and some some browse that they can't really that they don't prefer as much when there's snow on the ground and cold. You know, uh, don't have the luxury of hunting corn or beans on this farm, but today's conditions might just uh, might just work out and have the deer feeding out in this cattle pasture. Uh, my first time on this farm, my Brad and I found a bunch of sheds out in the cattle pasture, so they obviously spend time in it late season. So that's why we're here. The tree we're in is less than ideal. Uh, it's a giant cottonwood, and our setup is just just kind of uh, coupled together here. But hopefully, we can make it work. We forgot uh, we're missing a screw for the camera arm, so Justin has to freehand tonight. But this tree I did hang back in October and cleared this whole ditch out so we had really good access. We got good wind blowing back towards where we walked in. So from that standpoint, it's good. Uh, there's trails all over in here. It's just a matter of if they come out, the right deer comes out, and which trail he actually takes. So we'll see what happens. Got uh, two and a half hours or so. And uh, looking forward to seeing what comes out. Quarter to four. We just had our first deer come out of the evening. Um, got like a three-year-old and then a yearling buck. And they uh, came up up the hill, which there's a lot of crossings. And this ditch that I talked about walking in, there's a lot of crossings on that too, unfortunately. And they just decided to take the one that's downwind of us. And they got our wind and ran back. So not what we wanted to happen, but good to see early deer movement and we still got over an hour left.
on just messing around. There's multiple deer running in that group. Three does and two year old. Buck's coming out right now. Oh, there's a little better buck there. That deer might be... I can't tell. He's, he's more mature, but... You see him coming out? Mm -hmm. I think they're on that doe fawn. There they go. He's not as good as I thought. Alright, we've just got a few minutes left here. We've got some bucks, some small bucks working our way. But I just wanted to wrap it up before it gets too dark. Uh, turned, out, turned out to be a pretty good evening. Uh, I think we had a hot doe on here probably 20 minutes ago, 25 minutes ago. Justin and I both saw some chasing around in the, in the timber and didn't really know if they were just running because of the wind or fawns messing around. But that fawn came out with their tongue hanging out and two bucks in tow and they were chasing her pretty hard across this cow pasture so that was pretty cool to see but uh, it's always fun just you know seeing how well this cow pasture produces uh, we just had the right weather conditions for the deer to be out browsing pretty much whatever and ended up seeing probably 15 20 maybe a few more deer so We'll show you if anything else comes out, but overall, good, 